In this video you will learn how to create deepfake videos using a CPU only, with no graphics card required. For this video I'll be using Deepface Lab 2.0, Build 8-2-2020, and the video clips linked in the description. You will need access to a Windows PC, and you should close all other applications that are using CPU resources. We will be using Deepface Lab's Quick 96 preset trainer, with lowered settings suitable for CPU only training. Step 1. Download and install. Visit github.com slash iprov slash deepface lab. Scroll down to the section labeled releases. You can select the torrent magnet link or download from mega.nz. Once your download is complete, you can double click on the .exe file or use your favorite zip program to extract. There is no setup for deepface lab. Once the files are extracted, the installation is complete. Open the folder labeled Deepface Lab NVIDIA. Here you will see a couple of folders and several batch files used in the deepfake process. For this tutorial, we will only be using nine of these files. First, let's have a look at the workspace folder. In this directory, you will see three more folders which will hold our images and trained model files. The two video files include data underscore SRC, our source video and data underscore DST, our destination video. To make your custom deepfake you can move your own video clips into this folder and use the same file names. We will use these two clips to produce our face sets for the deepfake. Click back to the main folder and we'll get started with the deepfake. Step 2. Extract Images Double click on the file labeled 2. Extract Images from Video Data SRC. Enter the frames per second for the extraction. For example, entering 15 for a 30 FPS video will render half of the images, while entering 10 FPS will render one third of the images. Consider using a lower FPS for extremely long source videos. You can change the output file type to .jpg for lower file sizes, but this is usually not recommended. The video file will be processed and a .png or .jpg file for each frame will be created. Press any key or simply close the window. Do the same for data DST using the file labeled 3, Extract Images from Video Data DST Full FPS. Step 3, Extract Face Sets. Now we'll extract the faces to be used in our deepfake. Double click the file 4, Data SRC Face Set Extract. If you do not have a compatible GPU installed, CPU should be selected by default. Otherwise, type in CPU and press Enter. There are three face sizes to choose from. Since Quick96 uses the standard face size, we will type the letter F and press Enter. We can choose the number of faces to be extracted from each image, but for now we will extract every face by pressing Enter. Next we can select the image dimensions and quality, which will affect the overall size of our data package. Lower dimensions will result in lower file sizes, while higher resolution should only be used for extremely high quality videos. Type in a number that is a multiple of 256, then press Enter. Next, select the JPG quality. It is recommended to use the default setting. Writing debug images is not necessary. They can be useful to find errors in face detection and remove them from our face set. Press the Enter key to begin the face extraction. After a few minutes, the extraction will complete and give you a report on the number of images found and faces detected. Do the same for data DST using the file 5, data DST face set extract. Step 4, view face sets. After extraction we can view the source and destination face sets using the files labeled 4.1, data SRC view aligned result, and 5.1, data DST view aligned results. Here we can remove unwanted faces from the project. In the source viewer, you should remove unused faces, face directions not seen in the destination video, distorted or blurry images, obstructed faces, transitions, and other false positives. In the destination viewer you should leave most of the faces, as any face you delete will not appear in the final video. Remove any unused faces, and take note of any obstructions. Consider editing your source and destination videos beforehand to remove transitions and other problematic frames. You can exit the image viewer. Step 5. Training 
It is now time to begin training our deepfake model. Double click the file labeled 6, train quick 96. Type a short name for your model, or simply press enter. If not already selected, type CPU, then enter. Deepface Lab will load our image files and attempt to run the first iteration of our training. If it is successful, then the training preview window will open. At the top we have some keyboard commands. Below that, a graph indicating the accuracy of our training, and a preview of our model images. Press the P key to update the preview window, and notice the graph and images change. These lines represent loss values that will approach zero over time, so the lower the line the better the results will be. You can see these same values represented as numbers in the command window. The image preview has several columns showing our source and destination images being processed. In the last column we can see the current progress of our deepfake face set. Use this preview window to decide when you want to end the training. You can save and restart the training at any time. Press the Enter key to save the model and exit. Step 6. Merging Now we can merge the faces and create our final deepfake video. Run 7. Merge Quick 96. Enter the number on the left that corresponds to the name of your model, and press the Enter key. Select your CPU, then press Enter. Next, enter the letter Y to use the interactive merger. Set the number of workers equal to the number of CPU cores, or just press Enter again. In the merger window you will see a map of keyboard commands. For this tutorial we will only be using a few of these commands. Press the Tab key to switch between the keyboard map and the preview window. If you see a black preview just use the period or greater than key to advance to the first frame. You will notice the current frame number in settings displayed in the command window. Use the W and S keys to change the erode mask value, noticing how the border around the face changes. Next use the E and D keys to raise the blur mask value. Now we apply these settings to the rest of our frames by pressing the shift and slash keys simultaneously. Finally, we process the remaining frames by pressing the shift and greater than keys. Once the merger reaches 100% we can close both windows. The last part of this process is to merge our new deepfake frames into a video file with our destination audio. Double click the file labeled 8, merged to MP4, and press enter to begin processing. Close the window when merging is done. Finally we are ready to view our deepfake video. Navigate to the workspace folder and you will see a couple new files. Play the file labeled result.mp4. Hey everyone, we are live from my backyard where I am smoking a brisket and some ribs. Congratulations, you have made a deepfake video. Remember, you can restart the training at any time to improve the quality of your deepfake. Feel free to experiment with the merger settings to get your desired results. So, you know, the thing about, about smoking meat is that it takes a long time and you just end up sitting around for a while. So I figured that it would be pretty fun to go live on, on Facebook Live and just hang out with people all around the world while, while doing this.